online. Here are your latest church militant headlines. This past Sunday, faithful Catholics protested outside a church in Virginia. Pro-abort Catholic Tim Kaine, running mate of Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton, has attended Mass there for almost 30 years. Although Kaine supported some pro-life legislation as a senator in Virginia years ago, he has since been fully in support of so-called abortion rights. Those protesting outside St. Elizabeth's Church in the Diocese of Richmond held signs that read, quote, you can't be Catholic and pro-abort, and Tim Kaine and Hillary, a match made in hell. Tim Kaine claims to be personally opposed to abortion in spite of his public support for abortion laws. The University of Chicago is receiving backlash after rejecting political correctness. In a recent letter to incoming freshmen issued by the Dean of Students, the new class was told they could not expect safe spaces on campus where they were sheltered from ideas they might oppose, and that the school's commitment to freedom of inquiry meant it would not shut down speech that could cause offense. Since then, intense debate has erupted over the letter, with conservatives praising Chicago's rejection of political correctness and liberals complaining that the university is marginalizing certain classes of people. After feminists complained, Stanford University took down a website on responsible drinking. The website, titled Female Bodies and Alcohol, was part of an effort to address sexual violence on campus by warning women to be careful when consuming alcohol. The site stated that women get drunk faster than men do, and that women who appear intoxicated are an easy target for sexual predators. Feminists complained, saying it takes, quote, victim blaming to a whole new level. Stanford has since replaced its website with a more scientific version that does not focus specifically on women. Following a 6.2 magnitude earthquake that rocked Italy last Wednesday, the Benedictine, Benedictine monks of Norcia are rebuilding. In a post Friday, Father Cashin Folsom, founder of the community, said, quote, the church is closed and will take months, even a year, to repair. The medieval church experienced severe damage to the foundation following the earthquake that killed hundreds. The monks of Norcia live on the birthplace of the founder of Western civilization, St. Benedict. The monks are currently living in temporary housing, and Mass is being offered inside of a tent named St. Bartholomew's Chapel. The chapel is being named after the saint on whose feast day the earthquake occurred. College courses across the country are highlighting the nonsense taught in higher education. According to a Thursday report at the Daily Signal, the University of South Carolina is offering a course called Lady Gaga and the Sociology of the Fame. Tufts University is offering a class on demystifying the hipster. Skidmore College will be teaching a course titled The Sociology of Miley Cyrus, and Georgetown will give students the chance to take a course on philosophy and Star Trek. According to conservative commentator Walter Williams, this is, quote, campus lunacy. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about baptizing all nations. And check out The Download, where the panel discusses results from the latest religion poll. Please share headlines with your friends. See us on Facebook and Twitter. And may God bless you.